Hey Defenders, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you guys how we can automate Wazoo with Mist to detect IOCs within our Wazoo alerts. So some key features about this integration, uh, we will be using a custom Wazoo script to make API requests to Mist based upon our various IOCs that we receive from our Wazoo alerts. And these IOCs can be destination IP addresses, they can be domain names, they can be hash values, right? There's kind of a, there's a, a wealth of different categories that IOCs can, can fit within. We receive this metadata from our alerts within our Sysmon event, right? So this video is tailored around making API calls to miss uh, from receive sysmon events uh, you can fully customize the script to strip out the field of your choosing to actually make the api call to miss but in this video we will focus on sysmon we'll look at network connections dns queries and etc that we receive from our sysmon alert so a little disclaimer there uh, we will use this API integration to enrich our Wazoo alerts with MISP data, which ultimately will speed up our analysis response time. So now our analysis aren't having to search through all of our alerts to try to pick out IOCs. With this automation in place, Wazoo will tell our analysts, hey, this alert has a IOC contained within it that is stored within MISP. And so the steps for this video, we are going to, of course, configure our custom misp.python uh, script. We are going to set custom options into the script, and that'll be more clear here in a sec. We'll add our integration block to wazoososec.com so we can invoke the script. And then we'll add our misp custom rules to tell Wazoo so that Wazoo can tell us when misp has responded with a positive hit. And we can escalate that rule level to a high severity level to get our analyst uh, eyes on it and uh, do whatever we want to do with the alert after the fact. Uh, so a little bit, uh, just a, a very basic diagram of, of kind of the workflow of this. So our Wazoo manager is going to receive our sysmon logs right from our endpoint i don't have that detailed here but you could think of like an endpoint a windows box off to the side here forwarding sysmon events to wazoo wazoo will say will receive the log in uh let's say for this example it's a dns query so wazoo the wazoo manager will take the domain name and make an api call to misp and let's say it's just opensecure.co so Wazoo will ask Miss via the API, hey, is opensecure.co within any of your events? And if it is, then Miss will respond with the results found. And if it's not, then Miss will still respond, but the, the response will be empty because there won't be anything there. And our rule, our Wazoo rule won't won't trigger off of it. But if Miss responds with the results found, that will then trigger a a high severity rule on the wazoo manager that our analysts can can look at and quickly detect but let's go ahead and jump into it all right um so i did also start a medium page um let me know in the comments how you guys like this kind of approach uh hopefully this will allow you guys to follow along a little easier and it's a little more descriptive than what the github the github was uh, pretty much a mess so i'm hoping that uh following this kind of path and these blog entries will help you guys uh follow along a little easier and it'll just help me stay a little more more organized because the github is kind of turning into the wild west at the moment um so i have everything detailed here in the blog post that i will also link to in the description below so you guys can can follow along with as well and so let's go ahead and get into it so again i mentioned that i will be focusing on this this post is tailored around our sysmon events right so if i go into my agent that i want to go ahead and test this guy on so if, for example, I want to just go ahead and I'll just ping opensecure.co, we should see a DNS, a sysmon event 22 uh, alert come into our manager here. And sure enough, if we refresh, uh, we see this guy here. So we see that ping was invoked and this triggered this DNS query and our query name that we ran the dns query on was opensecure.co so what we want to do is with our misp with our misp script 
that's kind of a tongue twister. Uh, we want to strip out this query name and make the API call to MISP saying, hey, with this given query name, in this case, it's a, it's a domain name, All right? So with this query name, do you have any events that have this domain name as in IOC? And if it does, then MISP will respond back to us with a positive hit. But if not, then MIST will, will still respond to us, but it'll, but it'll be empty. So that's kind of the workflow that we're going with there. So let's first actually configure the script on our manager. So, and okay, so again, uh, just kind of refreshing our sysmon rules that this will trigger on will be sysmon event ones, which is process creation. Event three is network connections. Uh, six, seven, and fifteen. I forgot it. I've I forgot off the top of my head to be honest. Uh, and then sysmon event two is our DNS query, of course, and then our syscheck as well. So, uh, the was what the Wazoo manager by default has this has our syscheck rule group right, which anytime a file is added or modified, a hash file get a hash value gets generated, and so we want to take that hash value and also make an API request to MISP and saying, hey, do do you exist? Right. So if we scroll down a little bit here, let's actually configure our custom MISP. Uh, MISP script. Go ahead and copy this block of code here, which will be responsible, which is the Python code that actually invokes the MISP API. Uh, and what I like to do is scroll down to the bottom and just select the view raw so I don't have any uh, syntax errors or formatting errors when trying to paste it over. Uh, so that looks good. And and let's first we need to make a few changes and those changes we'll need to make that'll be unique uh for for everyone that is integrating this script we'll be setting our uh, miss base url and then our miss api key and i'm going to point this guy to misp.opensecure.co and now I need to now I need to add our API key. So uh, if you go into your MISP instance that you see here, if you go into administration and select list auth keys, I'm gonna go ahead and add an auth key here. And I'll just do this for my admin user. Uh, I would recommend you know spinning up your own API user when you're actually deploying this in a production environment. Uh, and specifying it to be a read only. So I'm gonna say my loud IP of just any any source IP can can invoke the API. You could also lock this down a little further and just specify it and just specify the allowed IP to the IP address of your Wazoo manager, right? So you could lock it down a little further, but I'm not gonna do that in, in this demo. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit that, and now I'll get back my API key. So what I can do is copy this value, and I'm going to paste this guy here. So we've now pointed to our correct MISP base URL, and then we've also provided our correct API key. And those should be the only two uh, unique changes that you will need to make on your end to get this to, to work within your own environment. And so I'll step down a little bit uh, through what we're doing. Uh, first, the, this, this attribute slash rest uh, search is the path that our API will actually submit the request so we're going to bundle up our JSON, which will include our IOC and make that request to this API path that we have here. We are then building our, our headers here. So we're submitting a content type of application JSON. Our authorization header is going to include our MISP API auth key. We are going to tell MISP, hey, we can accept JSON back to us so that we can uh, then build the alert that MISP sends back and alert on it accordingly within Wazoo. And one thing to note here will be our source and our event type. So you can see my if statements here and then I have an embedded if as well. So we're saying for, for this particular event type, which will be our sysmon event one, I need it to be an event source of Windows. And our event source that we're setting is the first element within the array of our rule.group. So if we go back to my alert here, right? So if I scroll down here and uh, I'm still within my sysmon event 22 alert, 
right i'll see my rule groups and i'll see my array of three different elements here uh within the first element zero will be the windows uh the second element in the array which would be a number of one right would be sysmon and then here our second element within the array is our sysmon event 22. so for this condition to match we're saying the event source needs to be windows and the event source that we're stripping out is uh the first element within our role.groups array so that is indeed windows so that's good and then the the second if condition that needs to match is the event type in this case needs to be sysmon event one where if i scroll down to our if statement for event 22 you see our event type here needs to be sysmon event underscore 22 which is what i see here so so if you deploy this script and you see that it's not triggering as as you're expecting it to make sure that your rule groups are populated as such so windows will need to be the first element within the array and since it's an array we reference the first element as a zero and the second element within the array which is actually the third <laughs> the third element to us needs to be needs to match the sysmon events that you have here um or if you don't want to change the roles or if you don't want to change your rule groups within wazoo itself just make the change here um you can you can always just modify the script to make the change here so if your first element instead of windows is just like sysmon right you could just make the change there and and uh and the script will work no problem so feel free to, to to customize it and even improve it and then another piece of the script that i want to cover so if we go into our sysmon event 22 okay what exactly is the f how exactly are we telling the script hey i want you to grab the domain name of the dns query that we've made and send that to misp well that's what we're doing with our wazoo event parameter variable that we're setting here so here i am setting this guy to our data dot win dot event data dot query name so if i scroll up in the alert on the left here you see this is the field uh that that pertains to this match here right so this is how the script knows for the value opensecure.co within this field of event data dot query name I want the script to bundle it up and that's that's how I'm going to populate my my API request that we send to miss so you can so if there's other fields that you'd like to strip out to send to miss uh, you can do so very easily as well by uh, by making your own modifications to to the wazoo event parameters there so we then bundle all of this up and make our actual api request bundling up some parameters and sending it out to miss if for any reason the script can't connect to miss uh we'll get our response back here saying connection error to miss api um and then here in this block here this is how we're actually building our json to actually get the response back from miss so then we can build a wazoo alert around it to detect when MISP has actually made a positive hit or not. So that all looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and save that off. And actually I need to now change the permission. So I'll change the ownership to root and OSEC. And then, and that is a 750. So chmod 750 and custom MISP and okay that's looking good so we can now continue on so we'll need to open so we need to now tell wazoo when we want the custom miss script to actually be invoked where where as you can see here within our group tag these are all of the rule groups that when these trigger we want wazoo to trigger the custom miss script and then the the python script is then going to strip out the correct fields depending on the sysmon event right which is what we what we just looked at within the within the script so i'll go ahead and copy this block here on my i'll open up the osec.conf on our wazoo manager and i'll just scroll down to the bottom here and i'll go ahead and paste that block there uh so that looks good 
I'll save and now I will restart our wazoo manager and lastly let's create a new rule file that we'll use to trigger when misp has hit has detected a positive hit all right so i'll go ahead and copy this block here i'll go let's just go into the web ui and make that change here so i'll go into wazoo management uh rules I'll select custom rules and I'll say add new rules file. I'll just call this misp.xml. And I'll go ahead and paste that block here. So let's kind of walk through the, the alerting here as well. So we're first matching on the field name integration of misp uh, because that is a, a JSON field that we will get back from the script so that we know that, hey, the misp integration has triggered. So that is our parent role here. If we see the, the misp error field come back with any contents, we know the misp error made a, uh, there was an error connecting to the API. If we see the MISP category field come in with any data, then we know an IOC was found and we generate our high severity alert. All right, so I'll go ahead and save that and we'll go ahead and restart our manager. Uh, let's go ahead and test with a domain name. So I'm going to go ahead and say search attributes and let's do a type of domain. So let's go ahead and find us a good domain that should trigger this guy. So let's just go ahead and send a ping to this domain, which will result in our sysmon event two rule triggering, right? Because my, my host will have to resolve that IP address and sysmon event 22 will trigger, which will invoke our custom miss script and Wazoo will then make an API request with this domain name to miss and say, Hey miss, uh, do you have this? Does this exist? And let's go ahead and see what happens. So I went ahead and ping this guy. And if we go back to our agent and I'll select a refresh. So we first see, okay, good. We see our Sysmon event two triggering. We see our, uh, our Sysmon event 22 triggering. We see our query go out. And sure enough, if we refresh again, here we see MISP IOC found and threat Intel. So we see our rule triggering, right? And we see the IOC that was responsible for triggering this rule, right? So we see our MISP value come into here. And we also include why was the API call even made to MIPS? Well, that's because ping our ping executable ran, which invoked a DNS query because we had to resolve because our Windows box had to resolve the host name of con contacts go. <laughs> I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, uh, but we can see that was made here and pretty cool. And then we also get back the MISP uh, event ID as well. So if we go back into MISP, right we see our event id 1490 right 1490 uh we see that exactly correlate here so now our analyst can pop can can pop right into the event id uh and dig in further on their misp instance so pretty cool so this uh and this integration again applies for uh all of our sysmon events that we detail here right so event one is process creation uh network connections uh apologies again i forgot what six seven and fifteen are off the top of my head uh we've been doing dns queries and then the wazoo syscheck rule for for hash values as well so we'll also be able to detect files that are added to our system if they have a hash value that exists within MISP uh, like a SHA-1 or MD5 right that we see here those will also be bundled up and sent to MISP uh, to see if MISP has any, any events associated with that particular IOC this greatly increases our our the ability of our SOC analysts to quickly pinpoint you know, IO, potential IOCs within the environment, right? Because Wazoo is now automatically making the request out to MISP rather than our analyst saying, okay, you know, we see our, we saw our event 22 come in. Okay. What is the D what is the D what was the, what was the domain that was queried? 
right okay i see this now i have to jump back into misp and do a search within misp to see if this domain exists within misp and that just doesn't scale well uh, especially as you get more and more endpoints and you're ingesting more and more logs into your environment so hopefully this integration will help you guys out and will really beef up beef up the the sock team and again i'll link to the blog post in the description below uh i think that wraps it up for today's video i appreciate you guys hanging out with me and i will see you in the next one